right. Do another delta map. All right, this time we're going to do defining slope uh, graphically. All right, so here is this one. Find a slope, so draw a line representing the rise and the line running the run. So this is the one where you have to kind of do little dots. You have to kind of, it says click twice to plot each line segment. All right, so, uh, so I'm gonna start with this guy and I'm gonna, looks like I'm gonna go here. So I'm gonna click here to here. See, I've clicked it, all right? Now I'm gonna click here to here. See, I did that? And so, now I figure out my rise is two to one. So my slope is two. So it would be, it's like two over one. Say, look, up two, one, two, over one. And what's two over one? Well, hopefully you'd say is two. All right, let's try another one. All right, so we're looking, see these little grids here where I have the dot? We're trying to find where our line goes so directly through one. Looks like here. Oh, it looks like four too. So we go up here to here. See how I did that? Now I got to go back to the same dot, click again, and then go here. All right, so I went up one, two. So I went up two, but I also went to the left one, two, three, four. So if you were to write this, you would say you went up two, but you went to the left four. I mean, let's double check to make sure that's what it looks like. Up two, one, two, to the left four, one, two, three, four. Now, if I reduce this, I really get, looks like one half. So I could have gone up one over two, up one over two. Yep, I could have. I just picked that one instead because that's what I saw. So we're the, we know the answer is negative because it's, if you also notice the line's going down, so it's a negative one divided by two. And that's how you do that.